For thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou. Be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be, when you are come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Israelites, now that you know about the holy angels and how active they are in our daily lives, the word of the Most High has introduced some of these angels that are behind the scenes helping us with our everyday lives. These angels are high-ranking angels that are over the world, the army of the Most High, and paradise, our first home. Remember how the book of Ephesians said, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The book of Ephesians talk about the dark powers that are running the visible nations of today. By now, all Israelites and indigenous black people should be aware that behind every president, king, or world leaders are principalities. Depending on how powerful and influential that nation is determines the amount of princes ruling that nation. The scripture said that Babylon is a habitation for all unclean foul spirits. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. The scriptures reveal to us the fate of Babylon. We know that this place is prophesied against in the scriptures for its cruelty and hatred for the Most High. Because Babylon have a significant role in the scriptures, Babylon is controlled by high-ranking fallen angels known as principalities. When Ephesians 6 and 12 said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places, I hope you're beginning to understand what the scriptures is revealing. There are levels to the spiritual wickedness that surrounds us. When our father and mother Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, they were kicked out of paradise, just like Satan and his angels were kicked out of the heavenly places. When Adam and Eve joined the Satans in this earth, they were surrounded by dark powers. The scripture said the fallen angels are extremely wicked. Adam, Eve, and their descendants live among the wicked angels until this day. Yet if thou hadst submitted and had been obedient to me and have kept my word, thou wouldest be with my angels in my garden. But when thou didst transgress and hearken to Satan, thou didst become his guest among his angels that are full of wickedness. And thou camest to this earth that bring forth to thee thorns and thistles. The scriptures is telling us that we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. Flesh and blood means another human being like you and me. We are not fighting against another man. If we're not fighting against another human being, what are we fighting against is the question to ask yourself. Ephesians went on to reveal whom we are fighting against. The scripture said principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Who are the rulers of the darkness of this world? Remember the scripture says Satan and his angels were cast out to the earth. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The book of Enoch said the Satans are responsible for corrupting this world. 
as well as they are the dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places that taught all the evil that is known to mankind. The Bible has confirmed to us that Satan is the God of this world. If Satan is the God of this world, then Ephesians 6 and 12 is letting us know that we are fighting against diabolical fallen angels. How can mortal men and women like you and me fight against high level wicked fallen angels? We cannot and the Most High is aware of our inability to fight against powerful angels. The Most High is aware of what we need and he made a way for the righteous to survive while living on this earth. The Most High has been taking his time to reconcile the men and women he made in his image and likeness back to him since the fall. The way the Most High chooses to do this is through salvation. The Most High made a covenant with Adam and promised Adam that he would save him and his seed at the appointed time. Yea, the word that will again save thee when the five days and a half are fulfilled. But when Adam heard these words from God and of the great five days and a half, he did not understand the meaning of them. For Adam was thinking that there would be but five days and a half for him to the end of the world. And Adam wept and prayed to God to explain it to him. Then God in his mercy for Adam, who was made after his own image and similitude, explained to him that these were 5,500 years and how one would then come and save him and his seed. The Satans are aware of this covenant. They use this very covenant to establish religion in the beast system. The Satans polluted the covenant by deceiving the sheep with an altered version of the covenant to take dominion, as well as to destroy the sheep with the sin of idolatry. When the people of the Most High began to practice idolatry and turn away from the Most High, they lost access to the army that can level the battlefield. The purpose of idolatry is to cut you off from the power of the Most High. When you're cut off from the Most High, the dark powers of this world can have its way with you. The only way the indigenous black people can succeed against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of this world is to have members in their army that can match against the evil power of this world. Israelites, it is important for you to know who your enemies are. The Most High said he scattered you in the land of your enemies. The Most High did not say you live among your friends and allies and another group of people who don't look like you. Matter of fact, they have the opposite look from you and they have been violent towards you from the beginning. Your enemies surrounds you. And ye shall perish among the heathen and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord their God. Too many indigenous black people accept the other species of mankind who have been deceiving them for centuries as their friends and allies. You have no friends and allies. The very Bible you're supposed to read said they conspired against you to cut you off from being a people. The time has come for you to understand what the word of the Most High is saying to you. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. None of these nations are exempt from conspiring against you. The Satans have the hybrid creation to execute their will in the physical realm, the earth that we are living in. Why do you believe there is so much bias against you and not them? The other species of mankind pledge their allegiance to the Satans. The Satans are their God. That is why they altered the things of the Most High to resemble their fathers in themselves. The religion system they created is not exempt from their alterations. The fear of the Most High is not in them. If they feared the Most High, they would not have taken the things of the Most High, polluted, and placed the gods made in their images above the Most High. Their gods are not our God. When the synagogue of Satan interfered with your connection with the Most High, you lost the protection and access to the army of the Most High. When these wicked princes came against our people, we perished because we are in disobedience. The workers of iniquity made sure to give the indigenous black people idols to worship. 
As long as another God had the place of the Most High in your heart, the army of the Most High is not available to help his people. The scriptures has given us countless examples of our people fleeing from their enemies when they did not have the help of the Most High. So they went up to the, of the people, about 3,000 men, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smote of them about 30 and 6 men. For they chased them from before the gate even unto Shebarim, and smote them in the going down, wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. When our people had the help of the Most High is when they humbled themselves and served the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Nobody, I mean nobody, could stand against them. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. But the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. The synagogue of Satan is aware that when the indigenous black people serve idols, they do not have the help of their God to assist them. Israelites, before you trade your glory for the lesser in the beast system, whenever you serve the gods your oppressors give to you, you are doing exactly what the angels who follow Satan did, denouncing the Most High to place another God over you. When the Most High is not your God, you lose access to his power. The indigenous black people really need to think twice before you serve the gods that are popular in the beast culture. These man-made gods are useless. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt, and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and provoked the Lord to anger. The synagogue of Satan give you these gods to be a snare to you. If the popular gods in the beast culture could help black people, how come the prayers the indigenous black people have prayed while the earth was given into the hands of the wicked has not helped them, nor changed their conditions? The other species of mankind continue to destroy the indigenous black people in the beast system until this day. By your enemies removing the most high out of your life, they've gained power over you. The state of the indigenous black people are the same regardless of where they live in this world. The workers of iniquity gave you all sorts of idols to disable you. When you don't have the help of the most high, you will fall like prey to your enemies. Because the fall of Adam and Eve, we dwell among the Satans on this earth, leaving behind our first home. But Adam and Eve wept for having come out of the garden, their first abode. If we go back to the book of Ephesians, where it says we are battling against principalities, principalities are high-ranking angels. Another name for principalities in the scriptures is prince. Israelites, it is important for you to know the fallen princes control certain regions of this world. Everything the Most High does, the Satans will have a counterfeit to cause confusion. Not all princes are a part of the fallen angels. The word of the Most High often referred to the high-ranking holy angels as prince. The book of Daniel in the Bible refers to a prince that tried to block an angel the Most High sent to give Daniel the interpretation of his vision. The holy angel Michael, also identified as a prince in the scriptures, had to assist the angel sent to Daniel to defeat the prince of Persia to get the message to Daniel. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Did you hear in the book of Daniel how the scripture identified the power that is controlling the kingdom of Persia at that time as a prince? The scriptures did not identify the man in the flesh that was ruling the kingdom of Persia, but the prince that is behind the scenes controlling Persia. Israelites, it is important for you to understand when the scriptures are talking about the flesh and spirit. The scriptures reveal to us who is ruling in the heathen's kingdoms. The prince in Persia was a fallen angel. That angel had the title prince because that angel is a high-ranking angel. The angel the Most High sent to give Daniel the message could not defeat the prince of Persia. 
the prince of Persia was able to withhold him 21 days until a high ranking holy angel was able to defeat the prince of Persia. Daniel was able to receive the message the Most High sent through his holy angel. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. Israelites, when you read the word prince in the scriptures, know that it is a powerful high-ranking angel that comes from the group of the fallen angels or the holy angels. The angel that the Most High sent to Daniel needed the assistance of a more powerful angel to fight against the prince of Persia. The indigenous black people need the army of the Most High that have many princes to defend the people of the Most High. Israelites, Ephesians is letting us know that we are not fighting mere men, but with powerful, high-ranking fallen princes. We cannot fight against fallen angels. A lot of indigenous black people perish because they want to fight their enemies in the flesh. You can't fight a spirit being that is extremely powerful compared to you in the flesh. The flesh is their territory. That is why you need the holy angels that are in camp around you to defend you against these strong princes that want to destroy you. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. I hope you are beginning to understand the reason the indigenous black people need to put down the idols of the beast culture. Turn from their wicked ways, repent, take up their cross and follow the Most High. When you begin to humble yourself, that is when the Most High can send his holy angels to assist you. The holy angels are available to the righteous only. Unfortunately, the population of the remnant is a few. The population of the wicked is large and growing every day. The scripture said Sheol has enlarged itself. The indigenous black people have been abused and taken advantage of because they do not have this information. Without knowledge, the people of the Most High perish. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. When the indigenous black people begin to repent and turn from their wicked ways, they are beginning to level the battlefield. When the indigenous black people gain access to the powerful army of the Most High, they have unlocked all the power and authority the Most High gave them from the beginning. Israelites, that is why the workers of iniquity are censoring important messages like this. They know the moment the people of the Most High gain access is over for them. The awakening is a thorn in their flesh. The righteous are waking up. The synagogue of Satan know the righteous is supported by the Most High and his army. Therefore, the synagogue of Satan is doing everything that it can to stop the people of the Most High from tapping into the power that is made available to them. I am here to tell you all about this power and how to get access to it. Through knowledge will the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. The Most High has many angels and every angel is assigned a job to complete. It is the holy angels of the Most High that upkeep the creation of the Most High. The holy angels of the Most High carry out the commands of the Most High. There are a select few angels the Most High has assigned major roles. According to the book of Enoch, these angels watch. They are powerful angels. We read about these angels throughout the scriptures. The very first holy angel, Michael, is a chief angel. He is a powerful angel. Michael is the leader of the Most High's army. The book of Enoch said Michael is over the best part of mankind as well as over chaos. Michael, one of the holy angels, to wit he that is set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. The book of Enoch described the holy angel Michael as being merciful and long-suffering. And he said to me, This first is Michael, the merciful and long-suffering. The Most High called on Michael to bind Simjaza and all the Satans when they came down to earth and procreated with the daughters of men. 
And the Lord said unto Michael, Go, bind some Jaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. The book of Enoch called the holy angel Michael an archangel. When Enoch was taken to the heavens to see all the operations of the Most High, Michael was one of the angels who assist Enoch. The Bible also referred to the holy angel Michael as an archangel. And the angel Michael, one of the archangels, seized me by my right hand and lifted me up and led me forth into all the secrets. And he showed me all the secrets of righteousness. And he showed me all the secrets of the ends of the heaven and all the chambers of all the stars and all the luminaries, whence they proceed before the face of the holy ones. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. The holy angel Michael, along with the other archangels, are over many angels. The holy angel Michael was the one who defeated Satan and his angels when the war in heaven took place. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. The book of Enoch revealed other important roles the holy angel Michael has. The book of Enoch said Michael is over the best part of mankind, meaning he is the angel that is over the righteous. In the book of Enoch, when the heavens quake, Enoch was overwhelmed with fear that he fell upon his face. The holy angel Michael sent an angel to raise Enoch. The Most High has given the holy angel Michael great authority. And Michael sent another angel from among the holy ones, and he raised me up. And when he had raised me up, my spirit returned. For I had not been able to endure the look of this host and the commotion and the quaking of the heaven. And Michael said unto me, Why art thou disquieted with such a vision? Until this day lasted, the day of his mercy, and he had been merciful and long-suffering towards those who dwell on the earth. The Bible give us more details about the holy angel Michael's role being over the righteous, the best part of mankind. The book of Daniel in the Bible said the holy angel Michael is over our people. The archangel Michael is assigned to the Israelites. Not only is he over our people, the scripture said during Jacob's trouble, the holy angel Michael would save and help our people. All of our people whose names found written in the book. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 is revealing a lot to us. Israelites, I recommend that you ask the Most High to break down Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 a little further for you. I have my reservations concerning the holy angel Michael. Until I get confirmation, I will keep my opinions to myself concerning the holy angel Michael. Open Diary is all about letting the word of the Most High sanctify his people. No personal opinions unless I have confirmation. Only the truth of the Most High's words can sanctify the people. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Israelites, the holy angel Michael is the chief angel that is over our people. There are other angels that serve their purpose in our lives. However, the holy angel Michael is the chief angel over the righteous. The holy angel Uriel was one of the angels that also assisted Enoch when the Most High was showing Enoch his creation. Uriel is the holy angel that is over the world and Tartarus. And these are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world and over Tartarus. The world was given into the hands of the wicked. There are many principalities that rule over the kingdoms of the world. Uriel is the holy angel that is over the world, just as Michael is over our people, 
Uriel is over the world. He is the chief archangel over the world. Tartarus is the realm that is a prison for the fallen angels. And he said unto me, this place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. Uriel is mentioned in the second book of Astros, chapter 4. Very little is said about the holy angel Uriel in the Bible. The holy angel Gabriel is the angel the book of Enoch says over paradise, the garden of Eden, our first home. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. And the third who is set over all the powers is Gabriel. The holy angel Gabriel interacted with Daniel. He was the angel the Most High sent to give Daniel the interpretation of his dreams. Yea, whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High sent Gabriel to interpret dreams, visions, as well as giving the people of the Most High understanding. The three holy angels mentioned are among the angels who watch, powerful angels that are used mightily by the Most High. There are many other angels who watch. Michael, Gabriel, and the other archangels were cast as Azel and all the fallen into the lake of fire at the great judgment day. And Michael, and Gabriel, and Raphael and Phanuel shall take hold of them on that great day and cast them on that day into the burning furnace that the Lord of spirits may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness in becoming subject to Satan and leading astray those who dwell on the earth. Most people are not aware of the multitude of work that is happening behind the scenes in their everyday lives. Israelites, look at your life in this perspective. You are a corporation with employees. Instead of employees behind the scenes, there are thousands upon ten thousands of angels working to make sure you, the corporation, is operating and excelling every day. Many of you thought you were solo beings. You're not. You have a team of holy angels that watch over you as well as minister and help you every day in the spirit realm as well as in the physical realm. Once the Most High give the approval, the angels are behind the scenes at work making sure the decree of the Most High come to pass. The scripture said the word of the Most High will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. In order for what the Most High predestined for your life manifests, the angels of the Most High are behind the scenes leading you and instructing you on where to go to make the connection. Israelites, it is important that you do not ignore the holy angels trying to get your attention. When you ignore the angels, you delay your blessings. What could have taken one day to accomplish can take several days, weeks, and years if you ignore the holy angels. Israelites, it is extremely important to get wisdom and understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, now that you know what you're up against in this world, the time has come for you to level the battlefield. For many generations, the seed of the fallen have been destroying the indigenous black people's lives for a lack of knowledge. Now that the awakening is here, many of you are learning the correct way to fight back. Once you repent, you gain access to the Most High in His army. Nobody can stand against the army of the Most High. The principalities that rule this world are no match to the chief princes that are in the army of the Most High. It's extremely important that you utilize the help of the holy angels to stand against the ancient dark forces that are in this world. The other species of mankind has aligned themselves with these dark powers. Israelites, choose this day to align yourself with the Most High. That way, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. 
though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple.